So uh, this is interesting, and, and yeah, this is something that is is happening in in the U.S. and and some other places as well. But uh, coding is always going to be important, but it's not the only thing, and it's probably not the biggest growth area. Um, you know, what I see in the Internet of Things space is the need to be able to write algorithms. Algorithms are not the same as computer programs. You turn algorithms into computer programs. Um, algorithms that take all this sensor data coming from the Internet of Things and make it useful, make it meaningful. Uh, and that's a more mathematical, statistical, has a little bit of kind of game theory about it. It's kind of a problem solving, puzzle solving mm -hmm. kind of challenge. Uh, you know, code is leaning more towards engineering. It's how do I make something work uh, using ones and zeros. So, you know, the, these algorithms, which is you know, typically called machine learning, sometimes support vector machines, the popular, although very misleading term is, is artificial intelligence. You know, the ability to have a machine look at a bunch of data and, and make a high probability decision very quickly and then learn from what it did and try it again. That's a, a huge need right now. The skills gap all over the world for people who can do that is, is vast. And people with machine learning qualifications uh, tend to make a lot of money. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's, that's a real opportunity for you know, kids who are about to start high school or thinking about what to do as a graduate degree or something. That's a huge opportunity. It's, it's math with critical thinking, really, which is what you know, pure mathematics is at, at a high level. But um, you know, what we are seeing is an attempt in the US, for example, with Common Core to actually change the way mathematics is taught to prepare children for algebraic and algorithmic thinking. The problem we're having is their parents don't understand that. Because like you say, math education didn't change for a long time. And math education comes from the pre-calculator era, when if you wanted to multiply numbers together or divide numbers or you know, figure out you know, how to balance your checkbook or something, you were doing that by hand. So the purpose of learning arithmetic, there was a practical benefit to understanding how to do arithmetic, like manually. Uh, there is no practical benefit to understanding that now. So what's happening is children are being taught computational arithmetic as preparation for algebra and algorithmic understanding. But their parents are throwing their hands up because it not the long division that they recognize. Mm -hmm. So we have this challenge at the moment. You know, and the thing I say to parents, which parents don't always want to hear, by the way, is that you are no longer subject matter experts when it comes to what your kids are learning. Your, your job, your engagement with your children's education should be, are they learning? Not what are they learning? Not whether what they're learning is what you learned, because what you learned, frankly, prepared you for the, no matter how young you are, prepared you for the 1950s. These kids need to be prepared for the 2030s, mm -hmm. which, you know, is a world of self-driving cars, by the way. Mm -hmm.